Hey folks, I hope you're all well. Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's okay. Um, I've just got a, a very quick one for you today. I've been working on a couple of tools. Uh, one is based actually uh, on the other. They're both based around the idea of uh, clamping alphas. Um, I noticed I was using the same uh, set of nodes over and over in, in my comp. So I thought rather than having to create the same set of nodes, I would create a handy dandy little tool uh, to do that for me. Uh, and then when I did that, I thought it got me thinking, well, what if I could use it in conjunction uh, with a difference key? Uh, so that's basically what we've got here. So the first one uh, I like to call the happy clamper is basically um, nothing more uh, than an expression, which is taking the alpha, whichever you set over here, uh, and anything below that is clamping it up to one. Anything below that remains at zero. Um, that's pretty much what it's doing. Uh, I found that rather than having to create uh, an expression node and put it in and then mess about with the numbers that I put in there, I thought it'd be a good idea to have a slider or a couple of sliders where I can move it around and actually look and see what the effect is, is having on, on the actual comp whilst I'm, I'm moving the numbers around. So I thought that would be a, a good idea to do that. Um, then I thought for good measure, why not stick in the, the usual sort of operations that we do uh, when we're messing about with the alpha and that's being able to expand and choke it or perhaps you want to blur it out a little bit. Maybe you want to pre mult the output rather than having to put a whole set of nodes in place. So that's basically what this one does. I, I'll just quickly show you very quickly here in, in, in this very quick and dirty comp that I've got set up here. So we're taking the alpha and at the minute it's clamping anything that's zero straight up um, to one. Anything that's zero or below stays at zero and anything that's above that. But we can change that here uh, just by moving this up. I've got two sliders or two controls here for you. Um, basically one of them is a course control between zero and one. Uh, and the other one I found that sometimes you want a little bit of fine control. So this is between uh, 0 0.00 and 0 0.01. Um, so, and one adds to the other, by the way, as well. So you can move your course controls where you want it, and then you can fine tune it in. Uh, then it's taking one, adding the number below to it. And then that gives you a, a final number, which is then being pushed up anything above that or anything that or above is being pushed up to, up to one, anything below stays at zero. Uh, and then you can either expand it out or you can choke in depending on how much you want. You can blur your alpha as well here as well if you want a little bit more of a, a softer, smoother edge. Then you can pre-mult the alpha if you want to do that. And that gives you a pre-molted image ready to, to merge over wherever you need. Uh, the sort of use case for this one is, uh, well, if you can imagine that you're doing an IBK stack and you want, um, you want to roto out a bit, or you maybe you want to extract a piece of that out and then obviously with that any that just is expecting a one or a zero uh, so that's a good use case for that or, or any sort of situation where you need a hard alpha with uh, no in-between values no soft values so that's the happy clamper i hope it's useful the next one is based on this based on the same principle in that it, it just adds a difference key to it um, i'll just quickly show you what's involved in it here so it's, it's taking a difference key. Uh, in this case, you've got two because I'm doing it two different ways. One of them, uh, you clamp it down, which is using, as you can see, the happy clampers in there. Uh, and the other one, it's using the gain, uh, which I'll, I'll show you how that works in, in just a second. Then some extra controls here for post processing your alpha if you need to do that. Okay, so let's just use this one in context a little bit. That might help. So let's say the first situation you've got where you wanna do uh, a bit of paint work. This young lady here needs a third eye in her forehead for whatever reason. If Nuke wants to play ball, there we go. Um, so we painted a, an extra eye in there. Then what we want to do is we want to extract the eye and then merge it over the top. So what we would do here is we would take one and the other and then we'll run a difference. So let's say we'll, I'll show you the, the hard alpha or, or the hard edge alpha here at first so um the extra controls i got here actually are handy to show you right now so at the minute rather than having to swap between my alpha and i can just output it to rgba here 
so I can see what my controls are doing immediately. So it's basically running a difference between the plate and whatever, whatever I've done to the plate. And then I can dial in the controls however much of that that I want. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'll probably just leave it as very close to zero. I'll just let's, let's just leave it anything. Everything that's changed now gets clamped up to one. So this gives me a nice hard edged alpha. If I want to at that point, now I can blur it out a little bit just to help with the merging in. So now we've got a, a bit of a softer edge. Then I can take off my RGBA. And so now we can pre mult it. If I swap the channels over, that gives me just the eye. And then it's ready just to merge straight over the top. So this is one good example of what you can use this for. And I'll give you another very quick example. So let's just kill that from there so it doesn't mess with my comp later on. Uh, in fact, I'll just get rid of this altogether and we'll start a new one. So we've got our comp, we've pulled a green screen key and then we put in a background. It's the world's worst green screen key, so don't judge that, please. Uh, but just for demonstration, then what what we'd be looking to do here is take the, the adapted grain that we've got here. We, we don't want it over the whole image, we just want it over the bits that we've changed. So then we would put in the difference key here, or the, the difference clamper. And then we would set to none so that it doesn't break anything when we when we first put it in I always set it to disabled first so then in this instance we want uh, a hard clamp because we don't want any semi transparency we don't want um, anything that's not uh, one or zero in terms of the alpha so that the grain doesn't have any sort of half grained edges in there so here we'll, let's, let's just take a look see what we're getting to start with um, need to push that up just a little bit there we go so now we're getting just the areas that we want uh, just the, anything that's changed goes in there uh, we can take off the RGBA in this instance just to keep the comp nice and optimized then I'll just output alpha only that's then going into the mask the mask is then getting plussed over and then we've got green um, right up to the edge where we want it uh, there's a few other situations, but I'm not going to go into all of them. I'm sure if you use your imagination, you can come up with um, some inventive ways of using this. Hope it is useful. I hope both of these tools, the, both the Happy Clamper and the Diff Clamp, are useful for you in some way and that you find some good uses for them. You can download both of these now either from my website. Um, there's a full write-up on my website. Uh, you can download the tools, both of them, one here. Uh, and the other one a little bit further down there's a full write-up with along with instructions and uh, and what it does or you can download it straight from wikipedia.com uh, both tools are, are available both on my website and on wikipedia yeah nice quick one today so thanks a lot everyone and as always happy comping